the mission of your group, Non Girly, is so important because I think there's a lot of gaslighting that goes on. Young women and American women have been gaslit by the U.S. government to believe they are equal because I thought I was equal. The problem is that's not true. This country was formed when women were legally the same as cows. We were property of our fathers, and then when we married, ownership transferred to the husband. We had no individual rights per se. And so over the course of the past 245 years, we have made progress. We have acts and statutes, and we have women in the workforce, and we have removed some of the laws that prevented women from participating fully in society. But the mistake we made is that we left out the underlying foundation for women, which is equality under the law in our Constitution. In the Constitution, women do not have the same equal rights and more importantly, equal protections. So don't be fooled. That's what one thing about gaslighting. Don't believe the hype. A, you're not equal. B, everybody's not looking out for you. Look out for yourself and unite with your sisters and let's get this Equal Rights Amendment pushed through once and for all. I was showing my movie at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. I was walking around looking at the exhibits. It was called Women of Our Time. And I, my movie was about our first U.S. Congresswoman, Jeanette Rankin, who got herself elected to Congress before women had the vote. So I'm walking around the lobby of the Smithsonian and across the way I see this woman and she's all dressed in white. She was a good actress. I'm Alice Paul back to haunt you because you haven't done anything to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment and women are still not equal in this country. I was like, what? what, what? I know that I'm equal. You're telling me it was like a crash and my brain cracked. We are so effed right now because 96% of this country believes we already have rights we don't have. She could contact her own legislators. She could contact the media in her local community and say, why are Biden Harris not completing the ERA? We want that published. We fought for it since 1923. We got it, please. And as many, if they hear that women even know about it, they're gonna get scared. I was raised with a mother that, like, if something isn't right, you don't just go along. No, because in what way, in what way are women not equal under the oh, law? Give me an example. Oh, many. Abortion restrictions will not be possible. How about equal pay? Uh, no, that's not, wait, 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 stop this. You don't fake it till you make it. You don't go along till you get along. You don't, none of that. What's right is right. What's wrong is wrong. You know what it is and fight for it, that's it. You know who you are. You've known who you were from the time you were four or five. And you love yourself and everybody loves you. Don't let that go. When you see these other influences come in, judge them from the point of view of that eight-year-old that knew exactly who she was. Know that you know your truth. Believe your own truth other people can really be a strong influence on you. And you need to maintain your independence and your independent thought. If you feel that something is weird, it's weird. If you feel that something is unsafe, it's unsafe. If you feel that you have a calling and you want to do something that's unconventional, don't be, don't be led by convention. The greatest uh, evolution that the human being or the human species ever experiences is through individual unconventional action. So that really is what pushes the entire human species forward, is that person that says, you know what, I'm going to do things differently. Listen to your heart and listen to your gut and you will not be wrong. And always do what you love. Never do something you do not love to do because you'll be very unhappy for the rest of your life.